Om Om Namaste. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Mary. And today's class is a heart chakra cleansing and tune up class. So here is my TA Simba. He's a little cat. He can be a little naughty sometimes during the class. So if you're ready, come to seated position on your mat. And if you don't, you do have some uh, uh, blocks, keep them handy and we may use that during the class. All right, come to seated position. Close your eyes gently. Hands on the knees. Just start to notice your breathing. Let's take three deep breaths and clean out all the negativity out of your body. So together, inhale deep. Exhale with a sigh, open mouth. <sighs> Inhale fully. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Last one. Inhale. All the way to the crown of your head. Exhale, open the mouth wide. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. Now come to your natural breathing. Let's put hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. So now today we practice a little bit tapping the heart with the thumbs. Just gentle tapping the heart with thumbs. Do it gently, consistently. We stay here for two minutes. Just start to gather the energy from our heart. Calming the heart if it was having some racing time. Just gently tapping your heart with your thumbs. As we are practicing heart chakra cleansing, visualizing this green light coming from your crown all the way drop to the heart center, a glowing green light. Visualize that, breathe in, and breathing out. Keep tapping your heart. Now coming to quiet. Keep your palms on your heart, left palm on the heart center, right palm on top of left palm. Relax your shoulders. Feeling your heart beat. So to cleanse our heart chakra, first of all, we have to identify if there's any blockages. Heart chakra represents love, compassion, freedom. So if it's blocked, it's usually by loss of love. So you're grieving or any type of heaviness, lost and ego attachment to the past. So identify anything that you feel belong to this kind of 
loss and grieving without judgment, without dwelling on it. Just breathe in and be in one with your grief and breathe out, let go of that attachment of the past. As you identify the grief, also realize and recognize grief is a form of love to the lost. It's not lost of love. It's a form of love. So realize that, breathe in, take all that love and compassion from the universe and breathe out, let go of the attachment to the past. Now breathe in, we will breathe in all the joy and happiness that you can receive from the universe. Feeling the heart open and receptive. And breathe out, let go of all the negativities. Breathe in deep, receive, open the heart. Breathe out, freely give your love and compassion to others, to yourself, and to the universe. Now let's chant this Biji Mudra uh, mantra. It's Yam, Y A M, for heart chakra. Let's chant this yam silently in the heart. Chant it loud or faint it. It comes and goes. Whatever you feel in your heart, that's perfect. Let's breathe in. Chant yam, 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 yam. Yum, yum, yum. Chant silently ten more times. The mantra will be released to the universe. All you need to do is breathe in, recognize that flow into your body, and breathe out, recognize that flow out of your body. Now gently release your hands to the knees and open your eyes. Great. So now we're going to do some asanas also for our heart chakra tune-up. So first of all, let's come to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And just start doing some cat and cow. Drop the belly on inhale, open the chest, look up. 
Exhale, round your lower back, mid back, upper back, release your head. So do that very gently to start with. Being gentle is very powerful. Incorporate your ujjayi breath. Now make your breath longer. Extend, open your heart. And exhale. Surrender. Inhale once more. Exhale. Next inhale. Come to cow pose. Open your chest, look up. Take your focus on your third eye. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and chest open. Inhale and exhale here, stay. Exhale, push to child's pose. Sit your sit bones back to the heels, forehead on the floor. Stay here for two breaths. Inhale deep. Feeling the back of your heart open. Exhale, surrender your heart, melting to the mat. Inhale once more. Exhale, surrender. Inhale, lift your buttocks. Come up to all fours. Walk your uh, palms forward one one foot and then maybe you can even adjust a little more hips directly on above your uh, knees now slowly melt your chest to the floor keep your palms completely grounded on the floor and then forehead on the floor exhale just melt your chest to the floor but with that awareness of your palms grounded, your knees grounded on the floor. Inhale, shift your weight forward and belly down on the floor. Come to Sphinx pose. So uh, elbows directly under the shoulders and just open the chest, look up. Extend your neck long, Inhale deep, feeling the heart open, front. Exhale, let your belly be heavy, melting to the floor, to the mat. Inhale once more. Exhale, lower down your head, hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes behind, lift, and come to downward dog. And just walk your dogs left and right. Your heels reach to the mat. Bend one knee. And then switch sides. Keep melting your chest toward your thighs. Ground your palms. Now bend both knees as much as you can. Tuck your telly but belly button toward the spine and keep reaching your heart toward your knees. You can relax your head and neck. And then slowly reach your heels to the floor. Start to feel the back hamstring and maybe your calf muscles. Inhale, shift your weight forward to high plank. Now stay at plank for two more deep breaths. Inhale. Keep the back of your heart open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale once more. Exhale, shift back to downward dog. Now put your big toes together. And then inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, right foot between your hands and lower down your left knee. So hopefully you have something to pad your knees. So we will, when you're ready, 
On inhale, put your both palms on the right thigh. Shift your uh, hips forward three times. Just sink down your hips down. And keep your chest open. And inhale, hands up to the sky, slightly bend back. Very slight. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. Now roll your shoulders back, open the chest. Look up. We stay here for three breaths. Keep sinking down your hips, open the heart. If you want to challenge yourself with balance, close your eyes. At the same time, feel grounded. If you close eyes, now open your eyes and now unclasp your hands. Put your right hand in the back thigh, left hand up to the sky. Very nice. And keep looking up to your left thumb. Take three breaths here. Next, exhale, lower down your left hand and put down your right hand. Step your right foot back to downward dog. Now take just one resting breath here. Next, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left leg in between your hands. Lower down your right knee. Shift your hips forward three times. And then when you're ready, next inhale, put your both palms on left thigh. Push your thigh away from your chest, chest away from your thigh. Very nice. When you're ready, inhale, arms up, hands up to the sky, slightly bend back. Maybe your palms together, maybe not. Two more breaths. Next, exhale, hands behind the, the buttocks, interlace the fingers in the unfamiliar way this time. Roll your shoulders back, look up, open the chest. Take three deep breaths. Keep sinking your hips forward. Un interlace, release your hands, put your left hand on the right thigh behind, lift your right arm to the ceiling and bend back. Take three more breaths. Look up to your right thumb. You can always challenge yourself by close your eyes. Very nice. Next, exhale, right hand down, left hand down, and step your left foot back to downward dog. And then we will do that one more time. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, right leg in between hands, left knee down. Inhale, arms wide open, hands up to the sky. Reach. And this time we add one more thing is to ground your right foot and scissor, pull your right foot back, pull your left knee forward to feeling more grounded. And maybe you even lift up a little bit. Very nice. And you engage and feel your right outer hip engage. Exhale, hands behind your buttocks, interlace your fingers, open your shoulders again, open your heart. And this time we shift forward, forehead to right knee, and lift your arms back up toward the sky. Lift your fist to the sky. And continue to scissor your right foot toward your left knee 
and left knee toward your right foot. Inhale, lift, chest open again. Exhale, inhale, arms rise, hands up to the sky once more, slightly bend back. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back to downward dog. Take one breath here. Next, inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left leg between hands, right knee down. Inhale, hands to the left thigh. Open the chest. Push your left thigh away from your chest and chest away from the thigh. Now, inhale, hands up to the sky. Slightly bend back. Now, add that additional element of grounding your left foot. Pull it toward your left right knee and then right knee toward your left foot. Now feeling that engagement of your hips. You can even lift up. This is when you do, you lift up. Very nice. Exhale, hands down behind your buttocks. Interlace the fingers the unfamiliar way. Open the shoulder, open the chest. Look up. You can close your eyes for a challenge of balance. Very nice. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Once more, reach. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back to downward dog. Inhale here. Exhale, keep your knees wide open. Come to child's pose, extended child's pose. Big toes touch. Shift your buttocks back to the heels. Extend your arms forward, forehead on the floor. Now lift your palms so you only have 10 fingertips on the floor. Melt your heart toward the floor. Stay here. Next, inhale, look forward to your fingertips. Walk your fingertips to the right as far as you can go. And then melt your chest to your right thigh and forehead to the floor between your arms. Put your palms down. And just relax. Then put your left palm on top of right Fully inhale, feeling that left side rib cage open. Exhale, surrender. Inhale deep. Exhale, surrender. One more time. Inhale deep. Exhale, surrender. Release your hands, come to your fingertips. Look toward your fingertips, walk them to the left. Take your time to walk. And when you walk, feel your body every degree as it change the shape. How does it feel? Once you walk to the left most, let your chest to the left thigh, forehead to the floor. Put your palms onto the floor. And then right palm on top of left. Can interlace the fingers. Take a deep inhale, feeling your right rib cage open. Exhale, surrender. Do that two more times. Inhale, look up to the fingers and walk your fingers back to center. And then shift your buttocks up and we do the Anahata Asana once more. Put your palms forward, shift your um, hips, uh, shift your knees hip width apart 
and then melt your chest to the floor forehead on the floor now this time ground your palms and pull your palms toward your body and feeling that engagement and then release the engagement of your palm put your elbows on the floor if you can walk your palms together and so palms namaste mudra your elbows are very close to your temples so really close to your ears and then fold your elbows so your thumbs are behind your head around your neck your thumbs are behind your neck so fold your elbows take one more deep breath melt your heart toward the floor exhale release your hands palms to the floor and slowly push back to all fours and let's do two more cat and cow just to lubricate our spine and feeling that effect of heart opening your spine is getting a little more space than when you started the class and the next we will do this uh, uh, thread the needles so inhale lift your right palm to the sky open your chest look up exhale put your right arm under the left right shoulder on the floor right ear on the floor and lift your left palm so only left fingertips on the floor you can stay here or you can walk your left fingertips over your head keep your left arm straight and that facilitate a little more heart opening to the ceiling And then slowly let your left palm, left fingertips walk back to your face. And lift your right palm to the sky once more. And exhale, left right palm down. And let's switch to the other side. Inhale, lift your left palm to the ceiling. And exhale, left arm under the right. And walk your right fingertips over above your head keep your right arm straight if that's accessible to you and then look up to the ceiling very nice beautiful you can shift your buttocks left and right just to feel your body what does that micro movement do slowly walk your right hand back to your face palms down and inhale lift your left palm to the sky exhale left palm down let's do two more cat and cow inhale drop the belly open the chest look up exhale round your lower back mid back upper back release your head push your palms inhale cow exhale cat one more time inhale cow exhale cat now stay in cat now stay in cat as if you're pushing yourself up to the ceiling your palms are really pushing the mat both your knees as well as your all your ten toes are pushing on the floor your back is rounded your belly button is tucked toward the spine your chin is tucked toward the chest one more breathing exhale come back to neutral position and push to child's pose for two more breathing just relax and then can put your hands along your body 
just like relax your shoulders, relax your forehead. You can rotate your forehead a little bit on the floor to massage your third eye. Inhale, put palms under the shoulders. Slowly come up. And next we will do the uh, camel pose. So uh, if you know how to get into the camel pose, just directly get into it. Um, I usually will use um, blocks. If you don't need blocks, you don't have to. So I put blocks right close to my uh, hips. I can just start hinging the hips forward. So this is the easiest, least intense way of camel pose. So if you want to directly um, entry to the camel pose using your hands behind your sacrum and then slowly lean back and hand one at a time to the heels. Yeah, very nice. And just keep pushing your pelvis forward. So the key part is keeping your pelvis forward. Lift your heart to the ceiling. If it's okay, let your head go back. We stay for five breaths. If it's too intense, you can always come back. Squeeze your buttocks. And then slowly come back. You can slowly sit your buttocks back to the heels and then head come up last. Or you can do the other familiar way. And then slowly let your palms go forward, come to child's pose once more. Rest your forehead on the floor. And then slowly lift yourself, come back to all fours, then push to downward dog again. And put your big toes together. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, open your right hip on top of left. Reach your right knee toward the sky, right foot toward the buttocks. Keep pushing up both palms to create space between your left thigh and the left rib cage. Very nice. Inhale here. Exhale. And then you come back to Three-legged dog, exhale, shift forward to high plank, three-leg high plank, bend your right knee, turn to the right, so your right leg come to the floor, and then lift your right arm to the sky, to a wild thing. Very nice. If you want to explore more, keep your right arm toward the uh, for, for, toward your head and then lift your pelvis to the ceiling, lift your heart to the ceiling. Very nice. Inhale, lift, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. And then slowly come back to three leg the plank. Exhale to Chaturanga or knees testing. Inhale upward dog or low cobra. Exhale downward dog. Very nice. Inhale left leg up. Exhale bend your left knee. Turn your 
left hip open. So we go to this open hip, open heart. Keep pushing your palms, creating space between your right thigh and the right rib cage. Reach your right knee to the sky, uh, left knee to the sky, left foot to the buttocks. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, put to three-legged uh, plank, and then bend your left knee, turn to your left. So your left foot on the floor, lift your right arm to the sky. So your right outer edge of the foot on the mat, so look toward the sky. And inhale, lift your pubic bone to the sky, heart to the sky. And then lower down your left arm over your head. Called a wild thing. Keep lifting your heart toward the ceiling, pubic bone toward the ceiling. One more. And then slowly come back to three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. You guys are so strong. Take five more deep breath here. Now keep your feet mat width apart, very wide, and your hands can be wide too, or you can keep your hands shoulder width apart. So we'll do a twist. So keep reaching your right left hand to the right ankle. Now turn your chest to the right. Very nice. And then change sides reach your right hand to the left ankle turn your chest to the left bend your right elbows and then change sides again we do each side one more time reach your left hand to the right ankle turn your chest to the right very nice and then inhale, change. Reach your right hand to the left ankle. Turn your chest to the left. Keep pushing your hand, left hand grounded. And then come back to center. Put your head and knees, um, feet together. Inhale, reach your right foot to the sky. Exhale, put your right foot outside of right hand, and then lower down your right knee. And then ground your left hand on the floor. Turn your belly chest shoulder to the right. Put your right hand on the right thigh, and then just push your right thigh away from your chest. Turn your chest to the right, and look up to the ceiling. Very nice. Your right foot will roll onto the outer edge of the foot. Very good. You can stay here. Or if you want a little more added quad stretch, bend your left knee, reach your right hand to grab your left foot and then pull the right foot, left foot toward your buttocks to get more engagement and push your left foot toward your hand. So it's an active engagement. So it's a, you pull with your right hand, push with your left foot. And this will open your heart even more. Nice. One more breathing and smile. 
And then slowly release your right hand, left foot, turn back to the center. Now we, we just add a uh, hip opener here. You can stay here or you can put your forearm on the floor. What I will do is I will put my forearm on the block and then keep chest forward. Very good chest forward and continue to melt your right knee outward very nice and then palms on the floor take your lift your left uh, knee do three uh, rows for your hips and then change sides when you finish step back to downward dog now just feel the effect of your left hip flexor as well as the right hip flexor now when you're ready inhale left leg lift up Exhale, put your left foot outside of your left hand, lower down your right knee. And then ground your right palm onto the floor, turn your belly, chest, shoulder to the left. Put your left hand on the left thigh and just gently push your left thigh away from your chest. Turn your chest to the left and even to the ceiling, look up to the ceiling. Now you can stay here, or if you want to add some more quad stretch, reach your left arm back and bend your right knee, so reach your right foot with your left hand and then pull your right foot toward your buttocks and push your right foot toward your left hand so this is a very active engagement as you engage this feel your body just feeling the sensations And keep opening your chest to the left side. Look up to the ceiling. And then once more. Slowly release your right foot. Release your left hand to the mat. Now come to the, um, put your forearms on the floor. If you need to be on the um, block, do that. And keep your chest forward and smile. Keep rolling your left knee outward. Very nice. And then put your palms onto the floor lift your right knee off the floor now do the hip circles Just circle the hip three times each side and then once you're ready step your left foot back to downward dog and feeling the effect of the hip hip opening And then knees down, come to child's pose once more for some rest. You can put your palms toward the back. So palms facing up, the, the back of your hand on the floor. So your arms are alongside your body. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest to the thighs. Let your hips be heavy forehead on the mat and 
One more inhale. Exhale completely. Then put your palms under the shoulders. Push yourself back up. And then we'll go to the uh, back. So come to the mat. So back on the on the mat. Let's come to bridge pose. So your your tip, fingertips lightly touch the heels. And then on the inhales, keep your blocks handy. So we'll do some supported bridge. Inhale, lift your buttocks to the sky. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now make it more active by squeeze your buttocks. Reach your knees toward each other. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze. Lift, 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 lift. Exhale down. Now next time, going up, stay up. Now put a block under the sacrum. So put it under for the uh, second height, under the sacrum. And once you put it there, you can interlace the fingers behind the blocks or simply just put your palms on the floor. Stay here, keep your heart open. Now put your arms over your head, straight up. And then slowly straighten one knee at a time. We come to this called a golden gate bridge. Let your hips be heavy, toes fall apart from each other. Very nice. Let your hips being very, very heavy. Feeling that openness from the front side of your body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale from the tips of your toes all the way up to the fingers of your hands. And then exhale from the fingers of your hands all the way down to the tips of your toes. Keep that rhythm of breathing five more times. You can close your eyes. And then slowly bend one knee at a time. Stay here for one more moment. And then put your hands back alongside your body. Next, inhale, lift your buttocks and take out the block. Lower down your buttocks to the floor. Inhale, put your right foot on top of left thigh. Lift your left foot off, interlace the fingers behind the left thigh, and keep pulling your left thigh toward the chest. You can push your right thigh away from the chest. Let's do a figure four. Now keep reaching your tailbone toward the mat, reaching your crown above. Keep your entire spine straight and grounded on the mat. Now maybe you can interlace the fingers on the sh left shin bone. Gets a little more intense for the right outer hip.
Continue to keep your shoulder relaxed on the floor, chest open. And slowly lower down your left foot to the floor. Shift your buttocks to the right and then put your both um, legs to the floor. Grab your right ankle with your left hand and then turn your head to the right. Extend your right arm out. Stay here. Keep your both shoulders on the floor. Now relax your right hip. Relax everything. Just surrender. Inhale all that receptivity into your heart. Let go of the loss, the grief, and the exhale. And then slowly turn back to center. Lift your legs back. And then we'll change sides. Put your left foot on top of right thigh. Lift your right foot off. Interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. And pulling your right thigh toward the chest. And use your left elbow to push your left thigh away from the chest. Maybe slightly tuck your chin to the chest to keep your back of the neck straight. Keep reaching your tailbone down and crown up. Now maybe you can reach the right shin bone, interlace the fingers over the right shin bone. Keep pulling your right thigh toward your chest. Feeling that intense stretch on your left outer hip, if that's the feeling you have. And slowly lower down your right foot to the floor. Shift your buttocks to the left. And then let your both legs fall to the right. Grab your left ankle with your right hand. And then turn your head to the left. Extend your left arm out. Just relax. Relax your shoulders. Relax your left hip. Relax every part of your body. Once we're in this shape, just let the gravity do work for us. One more breath. 
recognize all that stretch, twist, relaxation, and then slowly come back to center. Release your legs, and then put your knees, hands on the knees, circle the knees so that you get a massage for your lower back, the sacrum. Three times left, three times right. And then come to happy baby pose. Grab the outer edge of the feet or your ankles. Keep your knees toward your armpits. Now reach your tailbone to the floor. Keep your spine flat on the floor. Keep your knees wide open. And then slowly close your feet, close your knees, and hug yourself. And then just start uh, massage the back by rock forward and back, forward and back. And then once you rock forward, lift your um, legs. You can hold the uh, thighs with your hands. Keep your chest open. Bold pose. If it's available to you, extend your arms out to the side. And then slowly lower down your legs to the mat and the torso to the mat. Slowly, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, completely relax to your Shavasana. Get yourself comfortable. If you need any props to get your Shavasana very comfortable, take your time to do it. Once you are comfortable, put left hand on the heart, right hand on your belly. Now bring your awareness to the breathing. Every inhale, feeling your belly rise, heart rise. Every exhale, feeling your heart melting, belly melting. Feeling your heart open and receptive after this wonderful practice. Now release your hands alongside your body. Just relax everything, every single cell of your body. Come to a very restful state. Stay here for at least a five to 10 more minutes. Be gentle and slow when you come out of Shavasana. Thank you everyone for practice with me. Practice this heart chakra cleansing and tune up. I wish you all well and happy. Namaste. Thank you for the presence. Your presence is always the best gift. Thank you. <laughs>